Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through through my Gio Pocket on Dive. This is a bag that I use to carry my Gio in my purse. It's just a $3 Target bag. It fits perfectly. I've only had my Gio for about three weeks and I adore it. I love the length of the strap. This is the Pocket Undyed XL from Gio. In the front pocket, I just carry a few easy to grab things. I usually keep some extra cash back here until I sort it away. I love the look of layers, so I like layering things. This is just personal information that I keep covered at all times. It's have my yearly overview, my countdowns that I want to keep track of. I just made this insert myself. I thought it was just something fun and cute to do. This is my Sunday planning, things that I try to do every Sunday. My monthly trackers, I try to get to them every single month. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just because there's quite a bit on these lists. And this one is home care tasks. There's about 10 things on this list that I try to get to every single month, and if I don't, then I don't. But um, when I do my check at six months, then I can kind of see what I need to focus on. My one-on-one -on -one with my family, that one previous was self-care, planner spending. I try not to track it, but I have to be honest with myself. My getting things done section is actually my monthly overview, or some would call it their monthly overview. I always make a title page for each of my months, and on the right-hand side is just kind of a random list. Events I have going on on the left. On the left, I have a categories list from Peanuts Planner Go to help me get things done. Kind of just check them off my list as the month goes. A monthly overview, just something brief. A notes page, I don't really use those, but then I like using this Peanuts Planner Co. monthly, just kind of giving me an overview of every single month. I don't always pre- fill these out. I just kind of use it as I go and as I need the calendars. So if one day I realize, oh, I need the month of July set up, then I'll go in and I'll set it up. This next section, I printed these out from Peanuts Planner Co. I think they were on her freebies in her Facebook group and my printer kind of printed them all kind of dark. I don't know if I love it because I have to use heavier ink, but I do like the grid. And then I always try to keep track of my steps so I know how active I'm being. I don't fill it out every single day. I tend to go in on Sundays and fill this out just because I don't need to know every single day where I'm at. And then I have canceled rescheduled stickers and then my daily goals list, I guess is what you would say. My goal, my daily overviews, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, planning, just things that I want to kind of remind myself to keep track of and to stay on top of so that way I'm productive as I can be. This is just an Avery name badge that I punched to fit in. Put a little bit of goodies in there. These are my actual dailies. So I just kind of journal or keep track of tasks. Some days are super pretty and I love showing them on my Instagram and other days they're just what they are. At the end of every single month I section it and I put like memories and things like that that I want to remember. If I have any errands. My family section. This section is like the chunkiest part. I don't always fill this out as diligently as I should be. My son, my oldest, he's the busiest. His flap is just ridiculous full of information. My youngest, she has a lot of things going on for being in preschool. My youngest son, right now he just has baseball. I need to make a new one for my daughter. Hers kind of got full. Put in next year's public school calendar. So that way I can kind of look ahead. I just have some basic information there. And this is my finance section. And just kind of use um, monthly checks. I have a section for my monthly house payments, monthly debt, medical payments, and miscellaneous expenses, which planner subscription boxes go in there. Just some random notes, planner subscription information or happy mail, Amazon, things I want to buy. I like making pretty dashboards. I don't know. I like and putting little die cuts in there. This is like my journaling section. Um, when I do fill it out, I put it in the daily section. So it just kind of moves and that way when I put it away, it moves with it. This is like a personal tracker there, which I love to use. 
birthdays weekly trackers. I set them up that way from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm going to use them for school, plan what I want to do every single day, and that way homework isn't creeping up on me. My list section, just kind of random. Here's some lists, some addresses, phone numbers, books I want to read, movies to watch, things I want just random stickers, a summer bucket list, which me and my kids will fill out. And then back here is just a bunch of little dashboards, card information, and then a little pouch for receipts and things like that. Some pretty stickers that I don't like using, but they're there just in case. And then back here, I just keep random tabs. Sometimes I need to add a tab, you just never know. So I just keep a couple with me just in case. Back here, I just try to use it for cash, but when my wallet is messy, trust me, there are receipts back there and everything else. That's a peek inside my pocket undyed geo. Um, this is my first talking videos, and I apologize, I'm a little unrehearsed. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I tried to keep it prompt and to the point. If you have any questions, please just let me know, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!